Yo, what's good, real ones? This is Lavon. Welcome back. I'm here to drop another gem I got today. Actually, I don't even know if today is gonna be a gem. Honestly, this video, I've been wrestling with myself about bringing to y'all. So it's kind of gonna be a test for me and for you guys to see how you feel about this type of content. But ulti ultimately, for me, um, I'll get back to that. Also, side note, I got like my robe like in lieu of halloween you know what i'm saying I had to throw on the batman robe you feel me got the dark knight on my chest just really staying uh dripped dripped out staying dripped out uh what's what's the other one um i'm such an old soul like honestly i can't even i can't even lie to you uh really not in lieu of halloween it's just it's just warm and comfortable i wear it all the time but yeah, this video, we're going to do a reaction today. So, as y'all know, I try to keep my videos pretty positive and um, informative. However, I don't know if this one's about to really be that. I can see how it can uh, bring somewhat of a negative vibe to my channel. And I just want to preface this by letting y'all know that's not the goal I'm looking for um, so I'm trying to I'm going to try to make it as informative and a learning opportunity for us all because you know although I want to keep things positive I'm not oblivious to the fact that there's a lot of questionable things going on in the world um, you know I think it's important to understand how to move with uh, friends and you know people that we just encounter on a, on a daily basis because not everybody's sane not everybody is stable not everybody is positive right so uh today we're going to be reacting to a uh, part of a stream from agent double o or double zero uh, that I, I was watching this morning i got about halfway through and i'm like ah I, I just kind of want to do a video on this because um, I really do enjoy psychoanalyzing people and just really observing their their behaviors and, and whatnot. I do that all the time in my day to day life and pretty much in every video that I watch. I'm like, all right, so what's there are things being said, there are behaviors being shown, but what's going on underneath the surface? What's what's being said that's not actually being said verbally you know what i'm saying what can i grab from this so this is just a bit of the stream from agent zero zero we're probably not going to get all the way through because oof this is going to be a tough one <laughs> so y'all let me know how you feel about this this type of content you know you know i'll take that into consideration moving forward patience is important it's an important all right, so uh, we got Agent, the the guy whose stream it is on the left here in the white. Basically, he's about to be introducing his girl to his two friends, Chris on the left in the dashiki, and then Davis on the right in the black. All right. Works like Joe. Okay, come through. Come in. Nah, 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 nah. He's not gonna use the fireworks. Nah. nah. Hey, go, hold on. Hold on. Wait a second. Wait a second. Nah, just yeah, give me one second. And again, I'm not making this video to try to dog in anybody. Um, let's just try to keep it informative and just so we can understand how to how to move move in the world when we face certain situations like these. There's Jeline, she's walking in. Hi. Shake. How's it going? Chris comes in, gives a hug. Cool. How do you feel about it? Take a seat, take a seat, take a seat, You know, I always you know that, that J. Cole picture when he meets uh Gabrielle Union? And no. he decides to handshake instead of hug. I always never liked the friend one. Okay, so she's about to she's about to take a seat. Uh Davis is saying something and I'm giving so many disclaimers, but mind you, these are four people. There are billions of people in the world. However, so ultimately, it's not 
this isn't really that important, right? Um, however, there are many people out there that can exhibit some of these behaviors that we're about to see. So just something to be mindful of. In the grand scheme of things, this doesn't affect my life or yours. However, we can still learn. So Dave gives a handshake. Chris gives a, a, a half hug. Let's, let's keep it pushing. And he's about to say something about that. You know, I always, you know that, that J. Cole picture when he meets uh, Gabrielle Union? No. And he decides to handshake instead of hug? I always never liked the friend. Oh, you got chocolates coming out? No, I just wanted the blanket. Uh, I never liked those friends that would like hug, you know? Like, you know the friends that like hug your girl type? Yeah. Like, that was what Chris was doing. So, the three of these guys, they're boys, right? Davis was basically like, he's basically throwing Chris under the bus trying to make his half hug, his friendly ass one second half hug to Agent's girl, which he just meeting, which is, I think, fine, giving a hug is, is fine. Just, you know, and then it's right in front of him. There's nothing going on under the table, but she's trying to throw Chris under the bus right now which is a little odd and not that crazy yet, though. He's just saying, oh, yeah, I don't really do hugs. But I, don't, I feel like there's a way he could have said that without throwing Chris under the bus, too, you know? Chris, come down. No, I just wanted the blanket. Uh, I never liked those friends that would, like, I can't get where he's coming hug, from. You know, like, you know the friends that, like, hug your girl type? Yeah. Like, that was what Chris was doing. You don't like, why is that what's wrong with that? just like, weird. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like the respectful thing is a handshake. Like, yeah, nah, it wasn't, it wasn't no, like, <laughs> okay, and y'all are going to get this pretty quick, but I feel like a lot of what I'm going to have to say is going to be directed at Dave, not at him, but, you know, regarding his behaviors. Let's, let's keep going. I know, it was very, I just always follow it. Um, anyways. He's not like a starving raccoon, so... That's also an odd comment by Agent. But, you know, some people do have relationships and friendships where they like to nag each other. And um, there's just, uh, you know, banter, you know, bust each other's balls. That's just kind of the type of friendships they have. I've had those type of friendships, too, which I really do try to steer away from the degrading comments to try to be funny and to relate to people, um, especially people that I'm close with, like, I, these days I really do just try to keep it uplifting. I feel like there is other ways to be funny and um, yeah, to just show your sense of humor that doesn't have to degrade other people. If that's what you always have to go to in the foundation of relationship, um, of your relationship, if it works for you, cool, but I, I just personally, I feel like there's a better way to, to go about things. Um, but, you know, that's probably just how they, they be, so. I don't know it's some some guys, some guys just act weird when when a girl comes into the scene. So, um, right what now. are your thoughts on? Uh, yeah, I know. It was great. I just always follow hey, it. Um, anyways, he's not like a starving raccoon. So, um, what are your thoughts on uh, my my good friend here, Vinny Jojo? <laughs> Off the gate, like, okay, they're here to meet her. They're going to have questions. This one's not, I'm not going to say too much on that. Um, but that's kind of like, you know, you're kind of starting off on, at, a, at a hot degree right now. You know what I'm saying? But not not too bad. He's great. Uh, okay. What do, you, what do you mean by that? Like, I want to know, what, like, what are your true intentions with my boy? My true intentions. Yeah. Now it's getting a little uh, much. My intentions are to just make him happy, I guess. And what type? Because there's a lot of ways you can make it. You know, yeah, there's yeah, a lot of ways you can make him happy. Right, right. Yeah. At this point, <laughs> at this point, David needs to like back up. You see, she's fumbling. Like they kind of just started talking. It's like, why are you really pressing? I mean, agent. Okay. So the two people in white and the relationship whatever they got going on not my business um they're the ones talking to each other <laughs> and i feel like the colors that everybody's wearing here 
the colors that everybody's wearing here kind of speaks to <laughs> the the type of energy that they're bringing in the relationship so the two people in the white are the couple guy on the left bright colored very kind of his demeanor his attitude and whatnot it's pretty just goofy and light and um passive and then on the right <laughs> on the right hand side we got uh davis in all black on demon time you know my intentions are to just make him look happy i guess and what type there's a lot of ways you can make it you know, there's a lot of ways you can make it happy. right right yeah. uh you know I, a little bit a little bit like a ton yeah <laughs> so chris chris slides in and good for him you know what i'm saying he sees davis pressing old girl like kind of crazy at this point and he's just like hey let me ask a lighter question hey can you hoop you know what i'm saying um and see how quickly and readily she just answered that one um <laughs> you know something lighter like it doesn't you know, like relax it's, that's not your job why are you so worried about it like i understand wanting you know the best for your boy if that's even what it is because i that's not the energy i'm getting but um, wanting the best for your boy is one thing and not wanting him to get screwed over but it's like yo y'all just met two seconds ago chill out she's like a 60 overall okay, okay. You're 60 degrees, so. yeah yeah so it's not too far off so but what what, like, what are you really like are you just with him for the money oh, goes you know, right back I, to it <laughs> I feel like he really understands but like, how does he understand you? Like, can you... He, she she answered... Okay. First off, <laughs> just rapid-fired five heavy questions, you know? And then uh, every answer that she's given, he's like, okay, yeah, but anyways, like, what are you, what, what, what are you looking for right now, Mr. Davis? You know? Um, it's just odd behavior. And... But let's learn. What can we learn from this? I think it's important to be mindful of who's in your circle. It is very important because you could have people around you that you're calling your friend, that you're calling your brother, you know what I'm saying? Um, and on the surface, you know, they'll act like they have your back, but underneath it all, there's some some hating, hating, some hating tendencies. But let's keep it, let's keep it pushing. What else can we glean from this interaction here? I think that we're the same person. We're the same. No, no, no. I, I feel like he really understands me, and like, I just. But how does he understand you? I think that we're the same person. Look at you. Y'all are not the same person. Y'all are not the same person. He, he needs to meet you. Yeah. And you got curly hair. Y'all are not the same person. That's that's some goofball behavior. Like, I don't want to. It is goofball behavior. I, I can't not say it. No, it is. Um, but he's not. He's not accepting any of her answers. You know. And right now, when I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about an experience, and I'm like, is this really worth putting on my channel in this moment? You know, because um, <laughs> it's just like, it is one person. There's just one person that's really acting acting crazy but there's a lot that i've seen from the whole dynamic which is just i i couldn't even see myself being in this scenario but even if i was i feel like i would handle it much differently but ultimately that doesn't really matter that's that's their lives and, and whatnot but it's on the internet for me to see and i saw it you know what i'm saying it came up on my home page so here we are but y'all y'all aren't the same people he needs a retwist and I look he kind of do too but you know um that's the nature of having dreads like what the f but he's trying to be goofy about it like bruh and then he see he, oh, he needs a retwist dogging his homeboy but giving props to the girl that you just met two seconds ago like you're weird <sighs> excuse me okay that's kind of I'm being honest I'm being honest nice. Why are you trying to keep bringing up my reach? You wouldn't even know if I need a reach twist because I have my hat on. Right. So you're just sucking dick from long range. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> Chris just asked, do, do you know how to make ox oxtail or do you like oxtail or something? Um, yeah, good on the agent for not just letting his his girl, uh, you know, handle that. I feel like as a man, if you're in public or if someone's like disrespecting you, I don't, I can't imagine a scenario where letting your girl handle that disrespect for you and you just leaving that at that is ever the move. So I'm glad that he stepped in and defended himself and said something to Davis as well. Um, Cause yeah, you shouldn't like, uh, that's not for your girl to handle. I don't think personally, but good that she had his back, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Is that, is that an L? <laughs> uh, hey, what's your favorite food? My favorite food is uh, anything with cheese, mac and cheese. But what's your I favorite food? Just not being a just being a cheese. cheese. I you don't like mac and cheese. 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 That's kind of weird. I hate this N word is what he just said. That's like even like comments like that. Um that people not even just uh bro here, but like that people just let that people just say, you know, not even thinking about it twice. I really put a lot of weight on the words, honestly, myself. Um, and so maybe because I put a lot of weight on, like, how I speak and um, what I'm saying to other people, I think <laughs> I think that's why uh, I'm very mindful of how people speak to me as well. Because I know I put that, yeah, I put effort into and thought behind what I'm saying to others. So it's like, you, if I'm not going to speak to you any type of way, don't speak to me like that. So just being like, oh, I hate this nigga. Like, that's crazy to me. Hate? Like, and I know people just say it lightly. Like, I've, I've heard it from, um, I've heard that from some close people to me in my life. And I have to check them on that. I'm like, yo, that's, like, why, why, why that? You know what I'm saying? Um, and things have changed since, but it's be mindful of your words, man. Shit's, shit's crazy. Or even, like, I used to, um, I remember there was a point in my life where I would be, like, a KYS to somebody jokingly, right? And if you don't know what that means, that means, like, off yourself, basically. Um, just be like, oh, 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 you're so annoying, man. KYS. Like, I, looking back on that now, and I, I was in, like, high school but it doesn't make it right just because it was a long time ago um but even saying something like that like little things like that just be mindful of how you're speaking to people man that's insane hey so, what's your favorite food my favorite food is uh, anything with cheese mac and cheese but what's your I favorite food just not being a, just being a cheese I can you take an answer I that's kind of weird. What's your, what's your specific favorite dish i don't, know, kind of I don't have a favorite what's your, it's what's anything favorite with cheese bro I'm lying right now. I'm not uh, shouts out to Chris. I feel like he's yeah he's he's doing the 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 best handling this this situation. Whatever he, it's not even like I guess conversation the best this dynamic. That's not my favorite. That's so way. Why are you assuming? I don't, know, that's kind of weird. I don't have a favorite. Your, it's anything with cheese, bro. Right now. I'm not okay, chicken. That's not my favorite. That's so way. Why are you assuming that? You know how to make watermelon. You, you I know, do. Sure. I, I grow watermelon. Yeah. So we got a look at shouts out to to Jalan, the the girl here, because she is doing her best to answer these questions while also being supportive and not like, um, you know, trying to make her her man's look bad. Bro, uh, yeah, yeah. we got we make those over here in the A and P house. Uh, yeah. and are you a plant? Are you a plant mom? I can do plant mom. Yeah, I like. How do you feel about uh <laughs> it's it's like the the, dichot the the dichotomy? Is that the freaking word? The I think it is. Uh between the two, Davis and Chris, like Chris is like, Oh, are you a plant mom? Because my my guy, he's a plant dad, you know, he grows watermelon and whatnot, like being a, a supportive homie, you know what I'm saying? And then you got Mr. Demon time, like yeah, no, no, fuck plants. 
Fuck plant moms, like, bruh. I actually see, like, right there. Show the camera? Yeah. There is, huh? There is? Yeah. So, what, like, are you, like, you would suck his toes even if they're ashy? And no, then I, I, would, I put on some mushrooms first. They have a first. few holes in it right Make sure now. Make sure they're good. I would go with him. Support. I know you need a pedicure as well. You want to do that tomorrow? Yeah. Hate okay. support. Look at that. And you and you gotta be like that, man. Um, just speaking to anybody that's in a relationship, and I try. Well, not try, but I know I haven't put too much relationship content out there. I've, I got a lot of relationship ideas, but um, yeah, ultimately I feel like that's an area where I'm still figuring some things out. That's why I haven't spoken relationships much, but I do know for sure that it's important for if you're in a relationship with somebody to be locked in with your partner like allowing outside influences i've seen i've seen it so many times with past partners and i've been there myself too um allowing outside influences to come between you and your partner you know what i'm saying as opposed to you should be able to talk anything out with your partner first before you let somebody else's opinion come between y'all. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like that leads to the most healthy dynamic in a relationship. And um, yeah, things can go left. If, if y'all aren't locked in, y'all don't have that foundation, his little comment could have, you know what I'm saying? Made things go left, but look at them. Look how they respond to this goofy shit. I would, I put on some they have a few holes in it right Make now. Sure I look you need a pedicure as well. You want to do that tomorrow? Yeah. Say what? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys, Shout out to Chris. by the way, like, your feet need why, help. Why do you want dab after that? And now, Agent, he's starting to slip here because he's starting to go at Dave's. And I was kind of speaking this on this in my video about, like, how to respond to disrespect. Now, granted, Agent's not really in the wrong because Dave's has been coming at him crazy uh, this whole video. But, um... He's not necessarily in the wrong because he's standing up for himself, but uh, I don't know how I feel about how he's going about this. They don't. Yeah, them both. Let's see if they're... Yeah, let's like, see if they don't. Just show us your feet. Just you are. Just, just show us your feet. If you don't need help, just show us. They do have a point, though. Listen, I want to see I want to see your moisturized feet, Davis. Okay, so... But this is still odd. This is even odd that I'm like... No, it's not. He doesn't care, though. See, I'm not going to be isolated with my feet. Okay, I guess... Oh, I'm not going to be singled out about my feet. So why are you talking about somebody else's? Like, this is the stuff that I just don't even, I don't, I don't even talk. Like, I do not. And I feel like, okay, if I was in agent shoes, what would I do? Because um, it's one thing to be, like, over here and, you know, and, and even so, I can't, there's only... I can only put myself in a shoe so much because I don't know what it's like to. I know it's like to have tough conversations, but also to be having like a thousand, thousands of people watching you on the internet at the same time, knowing that you're live. You know, you don't want to. You probably, I would imagine, if I was in that scenario, I wouldn't want to um, bless my my friend, right, um, and make them look goofy in front of thousands of people even if they're coming at me crazy uh, so i would want to move with a level of tact there uh but also you know since this is my room it's my stream it's my space i would have to like either just get real with you like hey bro like you know all this stuff aside you're getting out of pocket um it would either have to be that but probably my first option my first bet would be to like pull him to the side like away from the people so he doesn't feel like he's being belittled or, or little bro you know what i'm saying just pull him outside um instead of just kicking out and be like hey, you know what's what's going on here and just having that conversation there but um yeah getting on his feet too i don't, I don't think that's really it but he doesn't he doesn't necessarily look bad for it from my perspective like you just have ashy feet too I don't. You got them gorbers. I just showed him. Just showed him. Uh, uh, his his kind. They well, definitely it's such a weird conversation, conversation to be having, like with so your homies. You know, y'all should be locked in. That shit is nasty. They're shiny. They're shiny. Yeah. Them bitches is nasty. Just because you put gloss on your toes doesn't mean they look good. 
I don't I don't put gloss on my toes. This nigga glossed his toe. <laughs> Are you trying to make me see What'd Yaddy say? Uh, no, what did Yaddy say? He said, I got paint on my nails. Fuck no, you're not about to. Bro, bro. I got paint on my nails, bitches fucking still. Yo, please don't listen. You're about to have the internet run with the fact that I paint my toenails. That's not true. You did. You painted it gloss. Is it just me? Right. I feel like there's been so many times in, in my life where <laughs> I see people, other guys, thinking, like, being super insecure about their own masculinity or their own sexuality, you know? Um, what's wrong with putting, like, glossing your, your toenails or your, your fingernails or whatever? I've had clear polish on like done on my my hands and my feet before i've had manicures and pedicures that doesn't mean you like girls i mean (laughs) that doesn't mean you like guys you know what i'm saying that has nothing to do with your sexuality you have to be very insecure in your own manhood to be offended by that and like getting louder i don't i don't take care of my hands and feet like that's what it's so weird to me I feel like, should I even be given this the time of day that I'm giving it right now? You know, I'm really not like stressed out. It's just, I feel like there's so much to to be understood from this. And it's, so what do we know? We know that it's important to be mindful of the people that you keep in your circle, right? We know that it's important to be secure in your manhood. <laughs> um, and to to maintain your frame and not be taken off center because other people are insecure in who they are. Um, and then also uh, to make sure that you and your partner are locked in like these, you know what I'm saying? So no outside influences can throw y'all astray or some shit like that. That is like, the dumbest. That is, bro, bro, I got stop, paint stop, on stop, my stop, nails, stop. bitches. Fucking chat, still. Yo, please don't listen. You're about to have the internet run with the fact that I paint my toenails. That's not true. You did. You painted it gloss. What's wrong with that? Okay, but that's that is like, the dumbest. They're, they're not painted anything. Like, they are. It's a clear coat. Cap. It's a, it is a clear coat. No. That's a clear coat. Secure and yellow. Davis has this shit clear coated, glossy as fuck, super effective. And that's completely fine. That's completely hey, fine. Exactly. Thank you. It is. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. He just got a compliment. From from both of them, he's like, oh yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I got my fingernails painted too. You know what I'm saying? It's clear. Even if it was a color, I mean, I'm, like that's too much for me personally. But you know what I'm saying? Um, just own like owning who you are is so much more appealing to to men and women. Honestly, that leads to lends to you being a more confident person and people feel that. Hey, if you say so. Mike, I agree. If you say so. So, uh, how do you... This okay. just feels petty now. Do you know how you read it? What do you say? AJ. That's nice. It's different than Yanni's lyrics. Okay. So if you say so. Mike, I agree. If you say so. So, uh, how do you... Oh, go ahead. No, you go ahead. Do you know how you read twists? No. What, what? what is this? Yo, what is your obsession with my hair? Like, why are you obsessed with my hair? Have you even, like, asked us, like, how the trip... What, what? Yo, what is your obsession with my hair? Like, why are you obsessed with my hair? Have you even, like, asked us, like, how the trip was, bro? God, like, he doesn't even have an answer. He, he, I don't even think he knows. I don't even think he knows he's, like, such a, a hater. Like, oh, you gotta do some, some self-reflecting, my guy. Um... You definitely, there's some healing that needs to be done there. Like, I don't feel like any anybody that's secure with themselves, anybody that's happy with the person that they are, and and wants that for other people would be. <laughs> Does that have to be said? I don't know. But that's a good question. He's like, yo, we just got back from the freaking like two week, three week, however long they were on their trip for. Um, long trip, I haven't seen you in weeks, dog, and this is like the energy that you're greeting me with. You haven't even asked how my trip was. That's insane to me. Um, that's a good question, though. That's not Let's see what he has to say. We had so much crazy moments. Obsessed with my hair. 
Have you even like asked us like how the trip was, bro? That's not important. Of it is. We had so much crazy yeah. moments. That's not important. That's the thing. Yeah, we like we skydive together. That's crazy. I, we I would never consider you to be the one to skydive. Why? Why not? It's just not like the the agent I got to know. So it's just two thousand seventeen. It's like every move, <laughs> everything that bro could say that's not supportive or wrong, if you will. It's like he's going for all of them. That's that's so bizarre. That's so obscene. Don't don't let him don't fall for the propaganda. All this weed twist propaganda. There's a whole bunch of hairstylists trying to run it up. I don't even entertain Swear. that. Swear. I don't even. Swear, man. Anyways. So what? Like y'all, y'all had a good time though. Like, it was a good time. What would yeah. you rate? Like you care. Like watch this. Watch watch what bro just asked, and then his follow up question. And all this weed twist propaganda. There's a whole bunch of hairstylists trying to run it up. Swear. Swear, man. So what? Like y'all, y'all had a good time though. It was a great time. What would yeah. you rank it in terms of like your other trips? I mean, I've never even been to all those places, so like ten. But I'm talking about the other trips you've been on in life. Supportive. Uh, oh, she gives him an answer. Wait, hold up. You weren't supposed to. You weren't supposed to say it was a ten. You're supposed to say it was a low number, so I could clown on my guy in front of you, and I could make myself feel better because I'm so upset that he found somebody that. I would imagine, I mean, she's an attractive girl. I would imagine Davis sees that too, right? And he's feeling some type of way. Like, there's no way you're not feeling some type of way about what they got going on. Oh my gosh, you just, uh, I said it enough. We're learning here. We're learning things, right? <laughs> We're not upset. We're learning, educating. Up there, but we're the best. No, yeah. <laughs> but I'm talking about the other trips you've been on in life. Up there, we'll be the best. No, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, that's, bro. Like, I don't want her to say. And, and that's weird, forcing her into, like, if she doesn't feel like it's the best, why are you trying to, like, she said it's up there. Okay, that's. And this is, like, let's, I've imagined, okay, what if I was in agent shoes? If I was just in the room and I was, um, if I was peeping game in this conversation, I will be, you know, in my head expecting the agent to really, like, press bro like i was saying you know on some like on some serious but it's it's hard it's so hard for me um to like just sit in the background and, and watch something like this happen without saying something myself <laughs> you know um i will understand that all right this isn't really my place but i would have to be like yo davis like yo what you got going bro like relax i would at least have to get to say that at the bare minimum so, Nigga, you know we went. Just, you know we went to Alaska. Then we went to Dallas. Then we yeah. went to Puerto Rico. Then we went to Miami. You know that. Yeah. And now we're here. Hey, I, I do know because you posted it there. Since, like, exactly. Oh, oh, yeah, oh that's, 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 that's some real Atlantic. Right. So he knows that they were going doing all these things. So I would imagine like he must have known that they were on the trip. You know, getting closer, having all this fun, and then still like feeling animosity or hatred towards his 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 man's like the whole time that he's seeing this like unfold which is it insanity kind of right? you're flying that's what you could so Chris keeps trying to make it like oh y'all wanna go y'all we gonna take her to Waffle House like he's trying to lighten up the mood but like it's just the energy on the right side of the room is just really overbearing I love just watching observing people <laughs> oh really Run it back. Oh, that's some real right. Atlantic shit. You, you, you and Lumazoo, it's just that, right? Yeah, yeah. You're flying. Yeah. That's where you could. So, y'all yeah, not like dating. Yeah, so y'all not, not dating. How do you go from, are y'all gonna go to Waffle House? So, back to a uh, 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 grilling on on 100 degrees, like on 1,000 degrees, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so are y'all y'all dating? Like, y'all know this is live. There's thousands of people watching. Why are you asking that? Like, Read the room, man. <laughs> Again, I guess it's kind of like bashing on, on Davis in a bit, but that that was a, the the main point. You know, the main point is be be mindful of who's in your circle. I'm about to stop this here soon because I can. I think, I, 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 I,
Yeah, we could go. Yeah, that's that's even that, like, agent, instead of being like, um, dang, you you asking a lot of questions. You know what I'm saying? Like, just really more more direct. Let them know what's why that shouldn't be flying right now. Like, really talk to this guy. Real nigga questions, bro. I'm saying that's. I'm asking. Like, are y'all dating right now? You asked a lot of questions, bro. Like, damn. Yeah, we could go. That's a real nigga questions, bro. I'm saying that's a real nigga questions right now, bro. That's a great place. Let's hit it. Yeah, I think we're done here, y'all. Um. If you have a Davis in your life, that's crazy. That's crazy to say. If you exhibit some of these behaviors, or if there's somebody in your life that exhibits some of these behaviors that have been coming from the right hand side of the screen, um, do what you can to fix either of those situations, please. It'll make the world a better place. <laughs> you know? Um, maybe less content to react to, <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, that's all I have to say about this. Let me know how y'all feel about this, this type of video, because I really do like, like, getting into people's, people's heads and, like, like, why they do the things they do and whatnot, um, which I feel like a lot of the stuff isn't really that deep, it's just clearly he was out of pocket, but I think there's just a, a way to go about handling situations a little better. Yolan did a good job. Chris is doing the best that he, he can. Um, Agent, you know, he he was, he didn't ask for this, but I feel like he could have handled it much better. Um, and then Davis is just out of pocket. But, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, be mindful of, of those two things and, and do something about it. You know what I'm saying? Please heal. Please heal, people. No one else can or will do it for you. So, y'all take it easy, and I'm going to see you on the next one. Jesus.